So McCall's just recently launched their new early spring pattern line. And there's some serious duds, but there's also some really good makes. So let's just head on over to their website and check out these new patterns. So here we are at the Simplicity site where they have the McCall's patterns. And look at these patterns. They're so cute. So let's check out this first one here. Okay, so we have a Mrs. Dress and Sash. I mean, it's a really cute design. It has a mandarin collar, a little button placket, some gathering at the shoulders, um, it, a tie belt. I mean, this is nice. It also has pockets, that A-line fit. It, this is really cute. Let's check out the other views. This is a shorter view with um, some longer sleeves. It looks like it has a bit of a band. Long sleeves here with a cop with a different color. That's nice. It has options. I think this pattern. Oh, look at the back. It has a yoke with all of those gathers. I really like the thickness of this belt too. It's not a skimpy little fabric belt. Really nice. Overall, I think this pattern right here would kind of be a work horse in your stash. I mean, you can get a bunch of different looks with the different collars, the different sleeve lengths. Yeah, th this is a cute one. And the line drawings are exactly what you think they should look like, so it's a good pattern. Let's see what's next. McCall's 8488. I feel like I've seen this dress over and over and over again in the big four. I. I mean, it's got that asymmetric hemline. It's got some fun style lines, so you can do some fun color blocking. It has long sleeves, sleeveless option, and then it also has this um, flared sleeve. I can't think of what the name of it is right now. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of these asymmetric dresses, like this one that like kind of just come in right at an angle at the bottom. They feel really kind of dated to me. And these big stripes, I don't know. It, it, this dress just isn't doing it for me. And I don't like those big old bell sleeves. Um, they just get in my food when I eat and annoy me. Line drawings are okay. Fun color blocking options. They're playing around with stripes. I think this is nothing to write home about. McCall's 8454. Um, this is a romper and honestly, I think it is super cute. It's got that wrap front, the little collar up at the top. And actually, it looks like they have two different types of collars in this pattern. Oh my gosh. I love that wrap in the front, the different sleeve lengths. Let's take a big, let's take a better look at this because you all, this is so good. Oh man, and they nailed the fit on this model too. It looks like there's um, waist starts and bust starts. Nice. And look at the really fun hook that they used for the closure here on the skirt part. And then it has the elastic around the wrist. This is really cute pattern. Wow, I'm really excited about this one. Let's take a look at the other views. You all, oh my gosh. This is so good. Look at the pleats in the front, the pockets, all of the pockets. Oh yeah, I'm loving all of the different views. And I like that they're shorts with that wrap in the front that makes it look like a skirt in the front. Let's take a look at the line drawings. Okay, I mean, it's exactly what you would think it should look like, right? You have the different necklines, some with the collar, some without. The different pockets, the different closures on that skirt front overlay part, shorts. I even like how they have the waist darts in the back. Yeah, I'm adding this one to my stash for sure. Okay, so we're off to a good start. Uh, maybe. Let's check out this leggings pattern. McCall's 8455. I believe that's what the number was. Let's get a closer look. Okay, so we have some pretty basic pieces. 
I'm not a fan of that top. The bottoms, looks like there is a pretty decent sized waistband. I do like the split leg down at the bottom. That's cute, nice little detail. Honestly, the top looks really basic. Um, elastic around the bottom of it. The sleeve, this sleeve length ain't doing her no good. I like the drawings of it better, but we saw it all made up on the model. And she's a model, you all. Yeah, some super long sleeves, that elastic band at the bottom. Here's the pants, color blocked. It is nice that they give you different options. Um, however, I'm not sure that, yeah, this one doesn't have a split at the bottom. I don't know if these pants have pockets. It looks like it does. And I really like this view right here. But I don't know, let's go check out the line drawings and see. And here we go. I still can't tell if there's pockets or not. Um, oh look, there's thumb holes on those longer sleeves. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, I've seen better exercise legging patterns. This one doesn't excite me. It's a pass. Hmm. Okay, let's check out these cargo pants. Unisex pull-on shorts and pants. Okay. Okay, so that you've got some interesting options here, I think. Um, let's take a closer look at these pockets. We've got like, oh, look at how cool these little, like it's a pocket on a pocket with zipper at the, on the bottom there. Do you see that? That's actually a really cool detail. I I do like that. You know, I think what's throwing me off with this one is the fabric and the drawstrings that they used. Um, here's the shorts. Here's the pants again. I do like how they have that cord down at the bottom so you can pull it tight. These pockets, you are, they're so cool. I really like those pockets. And here's like, a basic one even the back looks pretty decent I think these are really fun um, I'd go hiking in this I'd wear it around the house I, I I do like these let's check out the line drawings here yeah I mean exactly what you would think thankfully these have pockets <laughs> so fun though okay here we go let's check this one out this is McCall's 8457, and it's a loose fit jumpsuit. Okay. Um, I mean, this view B is, I, I feel like I've seen this before, but it is really well fitting on her. I like the tie around the waist for definition. These sleeves don't look crazy. Oh, hang on. Let me get back in there. Here we go. Yeah, pockets. Um, is that a button placket in the front at the top? Hard to tell. Oh, um, and they give you different views. Here's a sleeveless with buttons all the way down the front there. Yep. Um, I do like the wide legs. Very on trend. Um, huh, I like this view a little less, actually. Mm, yeah, this is cute. This one's cute. Okay, um, lots of gathering on this one. Button plackets, I like the sleeve option here with that tie belt, super cute. This view, not excited about, but you know, you can't, you can't win them all, you can't have all the, well, you could have all the amazing views in one pattern, but look, this is what they're giving us. So two out of three, not bad. All right, what's next? McCall's 84.59. You are. Here's a nice little men's shirt. Um, look, ignore the fabrics that they use. I mean, they're okay. But the lines of this is really nice. Lots of great color blocking options. And I like how that middle piece there that they did color block with is wider than just the actual button band. Yeah, and it goes up to the collar. See how wide that is? That's that's a really nice detail. No, I don't know if I'll be doing this kind of color blocking stuff. Like this is way out of my 
comfort zone. But look at this one with all of the different striped fabrics. This looks like it would actually be a really fun um, kind of like scrap buster. You know, just use all of the different fabrics that you have. Oh, I even like how they played around with the direction of the stripes. Uh-huh, here's that view that we were looking at. Yeah, I think this is a good one. I might have to pick this up for the hubby. Okay, let's take a look at this little house on the prairie look here. It calls 8463. Okay, so we have a really dowdy looking vest, a tiered skirt with a petticoat underneath. There's a blouse here. Hmm. Let's get a closer look. Okay, we've got a fun Peter Pan collar. I think this blouse has real potential. We're going to have to see later. This vest, though, no. Okay, there's the blouse with the pleats. Oh, yeah, this blouse is adorable. But wait, is it a dress? Or is that, oh, that looks like a petty skirt. Okay, there's a tiered skirt. I do like the tiered skirt, but honestly, how many tiered skirts do we need? The sleeves on this top, though, those are cute. St I'm still not feeling this vest, you all, though. I think that's what's bringing down the whole look. Otherwise, this would be so adorable. Look at that white dress. Oh, she's ready to go to s nowhere now. Yeah, the back, mm. You all, I, I don't know. This this vest is just killing me. I cannot do it. Okay, let's look at the line drawings here. Okay, yep. It's that um, vest with the ties in the back. Um, the shirt with the different sleeve options. Really cute. This shirt is adorable. The multi-layered tiered skirt and then that petticoat. Eh. You know, Laura Ashley, I've never really been a big fan of Laura Ashley. Don't come for me. I'm a pass. All right, what's next? Okay, McCall's 84.52. You all, I've got opinions. Oh, man, where to start? Okay, first off, can't they, like, dress them decently? Like, what's up with the shoes on this one? But, hello, this looks like... If you dropped her from a helicopter, like she would float down, you know, like it would just like parachute out and she would like slowly glide down to the ground. Yeah, it's got the cord sound at the bottom so you can cinch it, some zipper pockets, a shoestring around the waist. I, I mean, like, look, why a ribbon though? Yeah, I would definitely use better hardware and I would swap out that ribbon for a drawstring but honestly you all i like it not how it's styled here those shoes are stupid but yeah i like it <laughs> i want it <laughs> let's check out some of the other views why are they giving us bubble skirts you are the bubble hem come on i mean i i, I guess i guess little teeny boppers would like those Ah, oh, this skirt's nice. Look at that. Oh, yes. That, like, A-line. It's got really fun pockets on it. That is cute. Yeah. Okay. So, again, we got, like, two out of three really amazing views. <laughs> I mean, like, look, this skirt's a little different, right? Like, it's, like, out of the norm. But... I'd wear that to the beach all day long. That's so comfy looking. Let me add this to my cart. Next up, McCall's 8465. And this is clearly a vintage look. Okay. They're saying it's vintage 70s. Personally, I'm not a vintage fan. I'm not of these vintage patterns, but it's okay. Um, not a fan of the sleeves, like how it's like elastic around and it like puffs out and... Yeah, not a fan of that. Or the choker. I, I guess I'm just not a fan of this pattern, I suppose. Look at these sleeves. Mm, yeah, not fun. It does have princess sleeves. Princess seams, you are. It has princess seams. Um, and pants. 
it does have pants. All right, let's check out some line drawings. <laughs> so this pattern said it came with underwear. Look at the underwear. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know anybody who's wearing underwear like that. Definitely not me. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, McCall's 8447. Let's see what Miss Brandy Joan has for us. Now this look, I could get behind. These pants look great. I love how it has that pleated look down in the front. I'm not sure if that's a top stitch detail or not. Yes, this um, cropped sweater is the perfect just pairing with these pants. Mm-hmm. And is that a... Yeah, look at that fun seam right there. That's a quite unusual place for it to be, and I like it. I like that thick band. Yes, the, she used some grommets here. She nailed the fit on this, too. Miss Brandy, you did that. Okay, let's, uh, come on. Down at the bottom, it's like ankle length. Cute. I mean, I don't even mind that she's wearing it with heels. I wouldn't wear it with heels. Most likely not, but cute. All right, line drawing time. See, there's that really fun seam on the sleeve. Now, I don't know if this seam is rotated so that it's in that position or if there's an additional seam, but I really like it a lot. I do. And I even like that little triangle that they have by the collar. The pants are really cute. Yeah, I, I, I want this one, definitely. You all, here's a re-release. And the only reason why I know is because I got this pattern for my son for his christening romper. Yeah, let me see if I can find the view. Um, come on, where is it? I feel like I've seen all these. Where is it? There it is. I made this for my son. And it was, um, I actually made it out of my wedding dress. And it's one of my all-time favorite makes ever. Hang on, hang on. I need to show you this one. Look, here it is. Oh, it looks like I lost a little button somewhere at some point. I have plenty more. I can replace that. I have to give it a little clean, but look at that. All of the buttons in the back. The little legs. So it looks like the other pattern did have longer legs. This one was shorter, but my kid had such fat little legs that like... Yeah, the shorter one was definitely the way to go. Here's a little picture of him, too. Definitely a specialty pattern, but super cute. Okay, looks like they've got some bags. They've got, they're playing around with shapes here. Um, yeah, it looks like they are playing around with some elastic up at the top of them. They're cinching these bags. I think this is a really cute pattern. Yep, yeah, I like it. Okay, next up we have McCall's 8464. And this one looks like it's another Laura Ashley one. So I guess they're giving us two here. Um, okay. So it's another vest pattern or, or jacket pattern, I should say. Um, the sleeves look a little wide. It's not as modern fitting as I would like it to be. But it's okay. Big old pockets. Hmm. Yeah, look, the only reason why I'm pausing on this one is because of that gingham that they used. And it takes me back to the very first dress that my grandma had made for me in Puerto Rico that I totally did not, I didn't appreciate it. I left it in Puerto Rico. This view is cute though, look. I like the sweetheart neckline, the princess seams. Or the princess, yeah, the princess seams. I like the wide straps up at the top. That's really convenient to have. I think the dress is actually really pretty. I wouldn't wear it with this jacket. I feel like the jacket brings down the whole vibe. But the dress is definitely cute. Yeah, sorry, Grandma. I wish I had appreciated that dress more. The back is cute too. Look at the back of that dress. 
with the the way it wraps. Love it. Oops, didn't mean to show you all my Sudoku. <laughs> Sorry. All right, mid calls 8456. Let's see what's going on here. Women's knit top, shorts, and pants. Mm, not mad at this. I think the fit, oh. Okay, the fit's nice. The pockets really kind of bother me here. Let's look at that. Like, I don't know. I don't know why you would want those pockets on your thighs. Unless you have some really thin thighs, maybe. I don't know. I just, I don't understand it. The top is cute. I like the funnel neck there. It's like kind of drapey. Yeah, the top fits really beautifully. Here it is, sleeveless. Here's a long sleeve version. Oh, the shorts are cute. Yeah, I'd wear those. Those are nice for summer. You know what? I like this pattern. I wouldn't sew those pockets on. But then again, why would you want a pair of pants that don't have pockets? So, no, I wouldn't sew this pattern. I, I would sew the top, but not the pants. Okay, next up. May cause 8453. Ooh, look at this. Let's get a closer look. Okay, so they're giving us a wedding dress option here. The top, I wish it were a little better fitting. Um, yeah, I do like the train on this. Let's look. Okay, lots of ruching on this. That skirt bottom's cute with the buttons, but man, this top. I don't like the straps. I don't like all that ruching. I feel like this is a little too oversized for her. Like, had there been some boning and a more close fit, on this, I think this could have really been a knockout pattern, but as is, not a fan. The skirt, however, let's go back and look at that skirt. Okay, hello. Oh, look at that, look at that style line, that seam right there, right below the yoke, and then the buttons up on the side. I don't know if that's a trim or if those are if that's a real button closure. I'm assuming it's a real button closure for a wedding dress. Come on, that yoke though. How cute is that? Aha, uh -huh, extra seams. The train looks like a rolled hem, maybe a baby hem. Ooh, that skirt. Ooh, yuck. I don't you are I, I'm not a fan of handkerchief hems. Um so I'm not a fan of this view at all. Okay, what's up? Look at this one, though. I love this. I love the color blocked one. I love this one with that train in the back. Let's look at the line drawings. Yeah, it looks great. I haven't seen a skirt like this that's made me excited in a long time. Love it. All right, what else do we have? All right. Here we go. We got a top. This is McCall's 8451. Let's take a closer look. Okay. So the bottom hem looks like it could be a vest, but it's not. It's a top. It's a button down top. I can't tell if it's a... Okay, podcast, go away. I can't tell if there's a collar stand on this or not. It, I'm, I'm going to lead towards no. I like the collar less one here. I like the neckline on this one. I like the seams that they have in the front for shaping. I think it's, I think this is a good pattern. Boring, but good. All right, what else? Okay, let's check out this Barbie look. So this is McCall's 8450. Okay, we've got a mini dress with an overlay skirt. So this skirt is removable. The dress is pretty basic, which is actually what you would want if you're like sewing things from sequins or beaded stuff. You want a pretty simple dress just to let that fabric kind of shine, but hmm. It is really basic, isn't it? I mean, without that overlay, you really don't have much there, do you? Ah, this is cute, though. Look at the little pants. They, they gave you a whole jumpsuit with that overlay. 
Ah, yeah, I could get behind this one. And I like how this one has like a bit of a train. Is that a train? I don't know if that's a high-low hem or a train, but maybe a train. Yeah, there's the pink number again. There it is, the back with the pleats. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty simple overskirt. Line drawings are nice. They have princess seams, easy shaping, back darts on the bottom. There's that skirt. Yeah, it's nice. Ooh, let's check out 8446. You wow, this is another Brandy Joan pattern. And it looks good. Look at that leg moment. That beautiful neckline. She nailed this fit, doesn't didn't she? I mean, like, look at the amazing fit on that. I like the seam line that allows for that big exposed thigh moment in the front, the subtle draping of that neck line. Oh, you all, this, this is a good one. Yeah, I even like how um, the arm side is cut closer to the actual armpit. I mean, it's a good look. This is this is good, you are. I'm just in awe, admiring this beauty. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can take a look at the back. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yep, keyhole opening, zips up, button at the very top. Oh, I like how the back cuts in too to give her like that little shoulder moment. Beautiful shaping. Man, she really nailed this fit, didn't she? I'm just I'm just so impressed with this. This is a gorgeous dress pattern. Line drawings show a little bit of ruching around that waistline. Beautiful two-piece back. Yes, that seam that goes into this front split or slit gorgeous dress good job brandy let me get this in my cart even though i have nowhere to wear it to there are a number of good looks here i really like the parachute skirt one and i like brandy jones um athleisure wear i would definitely wear both of those i'm gonna pick those up so all in all i feel like these patterns well there were just there were really some definite duds but there are also some really unique looks that I hadn't seen before from patterns, which actually makes me kind of excited and inspired. Let me know which were your favorite looks and which ones you're like, oh, definitely not. <laughs> Drop it down in the comments below. Oh, and just in case you're interested in what my sewing goals are for 2024, definitely check them out right over there. All of my sewing goals revolve around one huge, huge goal that I have for myself in 2024 and I think you might be a little surprised so definitely check out that video and I'll see you there bye